I'm proud of you, Corey. We have been here for a full minute, and you have not once mentioned to I'll never forget the first time I saw her, Sean. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I was over there on the monkey bars, crying because I didn't know how to get down. But she gave me the courage to jump. I mean, I tore some cartilage, sure. But I knew, Shawnee, that I had found my playground mate for life. <laughs> Topanga! Daddy! Stop it! Stop it, Corey! You're being ridiculous! You know, we were supposed to go to the museum today. Oh, God. No, no, Topanga was real excited about this new Van Gogh exhibit that was coming to town. She went without me, didn't she? No. No, you're there with her right now. Why don't you tell me the monkey bar story again? Because because I want to see if my head will actually explode. Oh, I'm a clown to you, huh? Am I here to amuse you? Angela went with her. Well, I was supposed to go with her. I knew I shouldn't have come here. I was supposed to come here with Corey. Everything reminds me of him. <laughs> Angela, I miss him. Topanga, you've been waiting forever to see this exhibit. How could he talk to another girl all night? How could he kiss her? He told you it didn't mean anything. How could it not mean anything? He kissed another girl. You don't kiss somebody and have it not mean anything. I don't understand that. Should have left him up on those monkey bars. Oh, please, not the monkey bar story. <laughs> monkey bars. I was in the sandbox and I saw the cutest little curly haired boy on the monkey. Okay, just forget it. So if I go out with him, then Corey and I are really, really finished, aren't we? I don't see where it would help the relationship, no. I don't know what to do. Well, do you think Corey's complex and interesting? Yeah, but it's different. Even though I've known Corey all my life, how can I go out with another guy until I know what Corey feels about this painting? Topanga, this guy swept you off your feet. You gotta give him a chance. Maybe one day you won't be telling people that you met the guy you love on the monkey bars, but you met him in front of a masterpiece and he told you how he felt about it and he swept you off your feet. I'm not leaving my feet for anybody until I give Corey a chance. What do you see? Topanga, why'd you bring me here? I want to know what you feel about this painting. Well, I, I don't get what that has to do with anything. L did something happen here yesterday? This has nothing to do with what happened yesterday. This is about you and me right now. You and I were supposed to come here together, and I want to know what would have happened if we did. Oh, so this is some kind of test. Right, big test. Test the biggest. <laughs> well... <laughs> Forget it, Topanga. I'm, I'm not taking a test. Listen, you, you, you don't reduce our relationship to what you think about me because of what I see in a painting. That's not important. What matters is what I see in you and what you see in me. What I see in you? Portrait of somebody I thought I knew. How were you able to spend the whole night talking to some girl, then kiss her the next day and still think you care about because me? Because I did, and I do. You don't! Or you wouldn't be able to do those things, Corey. Those things don't just happen for no reason. Listen, don't tell me how I feel about you, okay? I know how I feel about you. And she kissed me. Oh, and you moved away? What did you do to stop her? Nothing. Nothing. I said, kiss me, baby sweetie. Kill the relationship with a person I care about more than anything and make me miserable for the rest of my horrible life. That's what I said. <laughs> her kiss meant nothing to me. And you were right. Those kind of things do not happen for no reason. They happen to teach you something. And I know now that I will never, ever love anybody more than I love you. What do you see in the painting, Corey? 